Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a website pretty easily with not a lot of knowledge on how to code or um, advanced um, computer knowledge. So there's a relatively easy yet unknown way to make a website using Google. Google actually has a platform called Google Sites which is part of their Google Suite that allows you to create um, websites and publish them on the web. So we're going to look at doing that today. So to create a Google site, you first want to make sure you're in your Google Drive. Then we'll go up to New. And then you go down to this More thing, and then it's right down here, New Google Sites. So when you first create a new Google site, this is what it'll look like. You are you see a page where it gives you a spot to enter your page title. You have a spot to enter your site name or add a logo should you choose. You notice you have things you can control and add over here as well. So we'll go through all of this, but we're going to start out by naming our site. So I'll pretend like I am making a website for Washburn Tech Tricks. So I'm going to name this a, so name the site Washburn Tech Tricks and we'll make this our home page. So immediately you'll notice as I'm typing home I have some things I can control. So I can control the type of heading I want. Normally for a page title you're gonna want to make sure title is selected. You're gonna want to use like heading, subheading, small, normal text in paragraphs that you would type below. Um, but I could change whether I bold or italicize it, or both. Can change if what justification I have. I personally like center. And I could also insert a link if I want to another website. But I don't need to do that for right now. So we'll just leave it as home. Um, if I don't like this background image, say I want to upload a different one, I can change the image. I can upload from my computer or I can select an image from Google or search for one um, using a Google um, image link. But let's just say this picture looks nice. Alright. So now that I've got my header and home page set up, I want to start adding some text and pictures to my home page. You know? Um, you have a few options to do that. You can either just start dragging text boxes, which you have here, onto your screen, and or clicking and it'll add in. Or you can select layouts. And so layouts allow you to um, set up text and photos together, and Google includes some common ones. So you could have a photo with text next to it, you could have two photos, you could have with text underneath, three photos, four, you know, they have a bunch of layouts that you can use. So we'll get started with the layout. We'll say up here, we'll add an image. We'll just use Google Image Search and search tech. This looks cool. We'll insert it. And then we'll put welcome to Washburn Tech Tricks. And again, I this time I can adjust what I want it to be. Right now I have it as a title. I could change it to a heading if I like that better. Um, with normal text, um, welcome to Washburn Tech Tricks. Um, and so I'm adding the body there. Um, so I don't need this layout, so I will get rid of it. Um, one thing to notice with each layout and each text that you enter, there are certain things that you can do. Um, you can duplicate the section, so let's say I want to use something like this, yeah, maybe the same image but different text. Um, I can do duplication by simply clicking this little duplicate section button. Or I can adjust some of the colors. So let's say I want to change the background of this. Right now we have regular, but I could change it to, say, emphasis 2. Um, and so this automatically changes the theme so that it works with Google. So you're able to have a little customization over colors too. Alright. I think this is pretty good for a home page, but now I want to add another page to my Google site. If I'd like to add another page, I'm going to come up over here and go over to Pages. 
So I currently have my home page, that's the page I'm on, but I'm going to go down here and click new page. And we'll call this videos. So this will be the page where I want to put some of the videos for our tech site. So you'll see it automatically updated here, the name of the page, videos. If you want to change that, you can. Um, it, it'll change it there, but it won't change it here. If you want to change here, you have to click on the three dots and um, rename it. So on this page right here, I would like to insert one of the videos that we've made for Washburn Tech Tricks. If you scroll down on this insert page, past the layouts, you'll notice they have a lot of little features that you can insert. So you could put in classical text, the table of contents, an image carousel, a button, a divider. Um, you can also put in Google, like you can embed your Google presentation, so docs, slides, or sheets, or forms. You can embed all of that in here too, or a map. Since I want to um, insert a video from Watchman Tech Tricks, I'm going to insert a YouTube. And so from here you can search YouTube. So I'll search for one of our videos. We'll put this one on. And now I've inserted a Washburn Tech Tricks video. Let's say that there were instructions to go along with uh, the calculator tool. What I might do is I might add one of my Google files that has the instructions with it. So I'm going to, I think it's actually in a PowerPoint file, so I'm going to click insert with a drive. And yep, I have a PDF that I can insert. I've ins embedded that PDF as well. Oops. It is also important to note that, as I just showed by accident, I wasn't quite ready, you can move stuff around by dragging it. So I can uh, move this down here, should I choose. Anywhere you can drag and see a little blue margin it is okay to move it around. So you can basically create your own layouts if you would like as well with this. So that's the main basics in terms of uh, this tool. these tools here. You can, as I said, insert a variety of different tools. You can insert text, you can insert images, you can insert Google Drive photos. Um, let's say, though, I want to get a little fancier with my pages. Um, I don't know if you've seen websites where if you hover over the bar there will be a drop down with sub pages, but there is also a way to do that with Google. Menu, you can click video, and you'll notice that you have three little dots right here. If you click that, you can click add a sub page. And so let's say under videos, I want a page that says Google Docs videos. So these are videos that are specifically about Google Docs. Now you'll notice that there is a little arrow there and when I hover there's the menu saying Google Docs videos. And so now I can edit this page just the same as any other page. I might add a drive with a Google Docs video. Let's see. Um, like like our Kami video, it uses Google Classroom, Google Docs, so I've been able to add that there. And, yeah. So now you know how to add subpages on your websites. Finally, one of the last things you want to look at before publishing your website are the themes. So I chose simple, but within simple you can change the color scheme of it. So I could change it to a purple color scheme, and if we go back home, we'll notice that now our um, accents are pink, purple instead of blue. Um, or even you can use a custom color, so I might change it to that. Um, you can change how you want your font, so we have light selected, but let's say I choose heavy. All of the font was just bolded. There are also other themes you can pick from. So you could pick Aristotle. This is a pretty cool theme. You could go to Impression. You know, there's a lot of different themes you can check out. Alright. Finally, 
I just want to show you a few last little tools that are up on this bar before publishing. So let's say you make a mistake with your site. Just like in Google Docs, you can check the version history. So let's say I accidentally changed the theme too much. I can go back to the beginning, see it at its beginning. I can go here, look at all the changes that have been made. Maybe I want to revert back to this theme right here before I mess with all the themes. I can click restore this version and it will restore the site like this. I can also duplicate the site. So if I make my website, let's say I'm making a project and I really like how my site's laid out and I need to make another project, I could duplicate this site if I wanted, make a copy of it in my Google Drive and it would make that copy. Um, another little tool is that just like Google Docs, you can share your website with others. So it can be a collaborative experience where you have multiple people working on it at the same time. Um, one of the last things is that you can preview your site. So this is the editor view. If I want to preview what my site will look like, now it's like I've visited the web page. And I don't just have to look at what it looks like on a computer. I could pretend I'm on a tablet, see what it looks like if I were visiting on a tablet, or even if I was on a phone, and see how it looks. All right. The last and most important thing is that once you've finished your site, you want to make sure that you publish it. You want to make sure that people can see it. And so to publish it, you can just click Publish here. Uh, you will get to choose what you want the URL to be. However, it is important to notice that just because you type something does not mean it will be what you type.com. You have to look down here. One of the caveats with Google Sites is that unless you pay for your own domain, which I would not recommend doing, you have to have your website under sites.google.com slash view slash then your edition. And so it will be under this, but that is okay. So I'll just leave it Washburn Tech Tricks. So my site will be sites.google.com slash view Washburn Tech Tricks. And then you can either choose, like if you don't want your site to be found by people searching on Google, you can select this box. I don't mind. And you click publish. Now it's online. Now once you've published it, if you make a change to your site, like say I want to get rid of this and say Washburn Tech Tricks established 2019, that's a change I've made. If I want the change to go onto my live site, I have to click publish again. Alright, and then you can click publish one more time and it will update it and republish it. If you ever want to take your site down, you can go back, you can click on this little arrow by publish and click unpublish, and this will take it offline. Alright, I hope this tutorial was helpful. I hope you now have a better understanding of how you could create a website for free, quick and easy using Google. Thanks for watching.